previous video uh, which i told you that i will be showing you if i get an error this sort of errors which i which i come across so <clears throat> if you want if you don't it doesn't look good if you want to remove this error if you want to get rid of this error we have a formula called if error so i'll be showing you how to use it in if error so it will be like if error if error open the parenthesis so the value is correct is you will get this answer and if the value is error so it put a comma and uh, open parenthesis space close parenthesis and close the parenthesis and hit enter so now i'll be pulling this same down so this is we are getting rid of those things see the blanks are going off same i'll be doing over here if error open the parenthesis value if it's true and value if it is error open parenthesis space close parenthesis hit and enter okay let's pull it down so this is gone vanished let me hide this what i want to do for everything so i'll be showing you so now i can if i want to do scorings and uh, it equals to count if open parenthesis so this is my criteria range and i'll be locking this so that the scores can be calculated automatically down to the it is like it's like for the row so it will be in the middle and the criteria will be the first one e3 again close the parenthesis hit enter so the king of king is one so if you remove move down here but the problem is even the blanks are getting calculated one the blank is get calculated over here 2, the blank is getting calculated over here 3. So it's getting calculated. So what we can do, uh, what should we do if you want to, if you, if you don't want to have the blank as calculation, if you want to get rid of these blanks. So there we can use an if condition. So the if condition, the full if condition, not like uh, nested if. So it will be like if open parenthesis, the logical uh, test this equals to null with no space comma and if true it's this and if the value is false then I want none So you can see oh, yeah, this I should have made it from here. Okay, let me write it again. It equals to if control C. Always call the counting is there, so I'll be continuing this. If this equals to null, then the value should be null. equals to null the value should be logical test is this then the value should be null or else the value is false count if I think the, the problem over here is you are getting the answer. It's still discounting the blanks. So we have an error in this formula. So the problem here, in here you can see I have put a space over here. See, I have put a space over here. That is the reason when there is a space, it is not going to take that value. So what I can do is if the value, then I should have put a space over here. And I hit enter so now when i pull it down you can see it is gone so you should be very careful in splitting space also if you put a wrong space still it will calculate or if suppose if i remove this space if i hit enter I get the null values over here so what you should have done is in the beginning when i made the if error formula i should have not put the space over here so 
so I will click black hitting enter so while you put pulling it down so automatically this thing have gone so this is the uh, thing which when you do uh, if error or if you do account if when you put double quotes you should be very 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 careful if you put double quotes if you give a space in when you were doing the if condition also you have to give a space if you don't give a space you should not give a space so this is just a moral like a moral story so i hope you got these answers and uh, next video i wish working more on uh, open parenthesis and closing parenthesis and how to make an study if in that it's very interesting a very challenging videos so please subscribe my channel please hit the like button please click the bell icon so you can get the notifications and please share and uh, let's uh, learn more on these things uh, more on excel and let's share the knowledge and uh, uh, happy learning let's see you in the next video thanks for watching